Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today we have something very special in the garage. This is an AC Cobra kit car by Factory 5 Racing. And so this belongs to my friend's father-in-law, and he has it over here today for me to detail. And it is a beautiful car, very well put together. So uh, basically this is a Mark IV uh, Factory 5 AC Cobra. And so uh, if you go onto their website, you can see they're still building these cars. This one was built in 2015. And so Factory 5 Racing, uh, gives you everything you need except for the drivetrain, the rear end, the transmission, you know, everything like that. So you have to paint it, put your wheels on it, but uh, as far as the structure of the car, everything is there for you. So I'll put a link to their website in the video description if you want to know more about it. But uh, you can see $20,000 base price for this plus everything else, these cars can add up pretty quick. Uh, this is a very beautiful car, very very well done. Uh, lots of uh, bugs and everything on it. It's ready for a good cleaning for sure. Um, the father-in-law of my friend uh, just got it not too long ago, so hasn't had a, a chance to really get into detailing it. So that's what it's here for today. I want to say the paint on this is very beautiful. It has painted on stripes, which is a very nice touch. Uh, they're not vinyl. And so um, very beautifully put together car. I, I was privileged today to be able to work on it. Uh, it has some scuff marks and some things on it uh, from the convertible top. It doesn't have the button system and some things like that. So after a good wash, I then went into a hand wax. And uh, so it cleaned up beautifully. You can just see the lines of this car are very smooth, very beautiful. And I really liked the paint color that uh, was chosen for this. So. Um, Anyway, these are just some shots of me giving it some cleaning and uh, polishing it. And uh, the paint was very nice underneath once it was cleaned. And uh, it was a very beautiful car. Uh, so this car featured a five-speed manual transmission. And uh, I wish I could have shown you the, uh, there's a little battery kill switch uh, behind the passenger seat I forgot to get a picture of. Um, but I thought that was kind of a fun, neat uh, touch to it and uh, just really nice hardware for the hood scoop and everything. It did have some aftermarket headlights, which kind of changed the uh, factory appearance look to it. But uh, anyway, the, uh, the wheels and everything cleaned up really nice. There's no curb rash or any problems. It was just dirty. So uh, after degreasing them all, they turned out quite nice. And I really enjoyed cleaning the lettering for the tires. I thought uh, that was a big difference. Uh, next, I went on to polishing. So I used the Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish. I really like this product uh, with the, the nice Mother's uh, polishing thing. And you'll notice there's little pieces of tar that get on here. And as you see, the only real way to, to get them off is with the fingernail. They start to dissolve a little bit. But uh, so that was a little tedious just to get all those little black marks off. But uh, these, fa these headers and exhaust looked really nice once we got all that off and gave it a good polish. So uh, it's a really nice touch for the car. Of course, you want to be careful not to burn yourself getting out of the car. And you had to wait for this to cool down quite a bit in order to uh, start working on it, of course. So it was one of the last uh, things that I did. As you can see, uh, this exhaust looks just uh, stunning, very beautiful. And uh, onto the driver's side here, you can see it looks okay, but it's dirty. So um, I went ahead and started polishing it and it came out really nice as well. Just took some time, some elbow grease and a little bit of the mag aluminum polish from Mothers. But uh, I thought that looked really nice and it sounds really good when you're driving the car. So here's kind of an overall inside the garage look of uh, what it looks like. And, uh, this car looks completely beautiful out in the sun that you'll see a little bit later in the video. Uh, inside, I gave the car a full vacuum and treated the leather as well. And so it has a very fun cockpit in there. I like how the gear shifter faces forward. It's kind of an interesting experience when you uh, get behind the wheel and drive it there. And uh, the nice polished ro uh, roll bar is a nice touch. And then I spent some time on the gas cap as well. Uh, so under the hood, it will say 427, but a lot of these are really the 351. Uh, I believe this is a 351 car as well. Uh, but it uh, had a very nice, beautiful uh, looking engine. And uh, Factory 5, I blocked out the serial number, of course, but you can see it was built in 2015 and uh, just a beautiful car. So here's what it looks like uh, out in the sun now that it's been completely cleaned up. And uh, that blue is beautiful. Again, painted stripes 
427 badges, beautiful exhaust, uh, really nice wheels with the white lettering. Everything pops very well on this car. This is a beautiful car for weekend driving and uh, even car shows. But I uh, just want to give you a quick little walk around here and then we'll start it up. And of course, this is not my car, so only a few light revs and uh, some simple motoring. But uh, go ahead and put in the comments if you've ever seen one of these, uh, one of the kit cars or the original. Of course, the original cars can be over a million dollars. So when you see them out and about like this, they're most likely a reproduction car. But uh, what's the difference if you're enjoying it? What a beautiful car it was. And uh, again, the 427 uh, Ford badges were really nice touch. And this exhaust is just absolutely beautiful and sounds great right outside the cabin for you. So I really enjoyed my time with it today. That's kind of how it is when you detail somebody else's car. You get to enjoy a lot of uh, their beautiful property. And so it's almost not fair to the owner. But uh, anyway, I, I enjoyed my time. So as always, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video as much as I did detailing the car. And if you're new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. Thanks guys.